Hi everyone, this is a short video aimed at users in Ireland who are new to the Bloomsbury Professional Online platform. Uh, we're not going to go into a huge amount of detail in the, uh, the functions we're going to look at uh, in this video, but it should be enough to get you started. Uh, let's begin by uh, taking a look at the layout of the uh, the home page. As you can see, it's divided uh, broadly into three column. Uh, there's Browse My Books over here on the left. Uh, this is a, um, a list of all the books that are included in your subscription. Here in the middle is um, what we call New and Noteworthy. That's where we alert you to uh, new publications or updates that appear online and also um, important case law as that gets written up. And over here on the right, there are some uh, further notes on how to use the service. Right up here at the top right of the screen is the search box. We'll certainly be looking at that in a lot more detail a little bit later in the video. But let's, um, let's work through some of these points First, uh, browse my books. As we've said, this lists all the um, all the books that are included in your subscription. So let's just dive straight in and uh, take a look at one of those. Um, why not start with Irish Conveyancing Law? As you can see over here on the left of the screen, the contents area is now only showing the uh, the contents of the book that you're looking at. So here are the, the list of all the chapters in Irish Conveyancing Law and um, if we jump into one of those we can either click the little plus sign here and see the headings that are contained within that chapter or if I prefer I can just click the chapter title there and then jump straight into it like so. So let's have a look at the caveat emptor page and now we've got a, um, a document from uh, from this book uh, on the screen in front of us it's um of course it's the complete text that's uh, that's included in the book these buttons here next document previous documents they enable you to flip through uh, the contents of the book in uh, in the appropriate order so um i'm now i'm into chapter five and i should now be heading into chapter six and so on and of course previous document takes you back the other way you can use the table of contents to go to any chapter that you like ad hoc so we can bounce straight into chapter 17 or head um, back to chapter one on the screen here uh, if we prefer to go back to the beginning of the book, you can always um, click the title there and that will take you back to the book homepage. If I want to return to the homepage of the site itself, in other words, uh, the listing of all the books and uh, the news and so on, I click the logo up at the top left and that takes me back to the homepage and now I'm looking at that full list of books again. In the middle of the screen here, New and noteworthy, this is our current awareness um, feed. As we can see, the most recent item here is there's been an update to uh, the Irish property law update. And if I click that, that's um, listing some of the articles that are in uh, that issue. And now I can click those and it will take me into that update. As you can see, it's linked in to the, uh, the, the major reference works. So at this point, I can dive into chapter 19 of Irish Conveyancing Law, which we were indeed just looking at. I'll head back to the home page again. Over here on the right of the screen um, is uh, a, a simple help function with links through to more detailed information. So if you ever want a refresher on how the site works, then um, that would be the place to go. So that's been uh, a very brief tour around um, the home page and uh, how to browse for uh, information in a book. Just before I move on to search, I just want to look very quickly at this bar here, which is um, a way of breaking the content down into different types of content. All content does pretty much what you'd expect. It lists uh, everything that's um, included in your subscription. Cases shows only case law and it happens that there's only a one case law product in this subscription, the, uh, the Irish tax reports. Commentary, uh, as you might expect, there's a lot of commentary included here and um, this is a place where if you just want to see the commentary titles and uh, similarly, if I only want to look at the legislation itself, if I click legislation, 
it lists out those uh, those titles that are um, are simply legislation. So if I want to hop into the Companies Act 2014, that's the way I do it. And now I'm into a browse view, kind of similar to the, the view we were looking at a moment ago for Irish conveyancing law. So here are the parts of the Companies Act and I can dive in at um, any point like so. Finally, uh, these last two precedents shows only the books which are all precedents. So Irish conveyancing precedents um, is the only one included in this product, which is um, entirely given over to, uh, to precedents. That's not to say that other titles uh, don't also include precedents. Um, it's a small point, but just to mention on the home page, there's this link here looking for a precedent. And that will uh, find all the precedents that are included in this subscription, um, even the ones which aren't in uh, Irish conveyancing precedents. So as you can see, there's a, there's a decent smattering of precedents included in a few other uh, products as well. Finally, the last, um, the last item on this bar is news, and this lists out the, uh, the products which are current awareness services for the three subscriptions included in this view, company law, property law, and tax. So here's the property law update. And if I come through to that product, I can see the listing of, uh, of all the property law updates since that service um, launched. And if I want to look at an earlier issue, I can jump into it in exactly the same way as um, any of the other browsable products on the on the service. So that's a, a quick look at browse and the home page and how to filter on different content types. Now let's take um let's take a look at search. Uh, you enter a search into the box up at the uh, the top right here. Uh, anything you search in this box will search across all of the content included in your subscription. Uh, so let's take a, um, a simple concept like capacity. As you can see, the, uh, the site prompts us with various guesses as to what it is we're, we're, we're searching for. We don't have to use them, of course. I just want to search for the single word uh, capacity. So if I either click the little magnifying glass button or press enter, that will fire that search off. And now I get the set of search results coming back. Uh, I think the first thing to say here is that 1,600 search results is um, is way too many to review effectively. Life's too short to slog through 1,600 of them. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can filter that set of search results so that you're looking at a more relevant subset of the information. And uh, basically, there are three ways you can do that. You can search within the search results. You can limit the search to um, only the searches occurring in a particular book, or you can limit the searches to only the searches occurring in a particular content type, like legislation, case law, and so on. Let's take those in that order. And uh, possibly the most useful of the three is the ability to search within the results. What that means is, rather than search across the entire site, I can now perform another search which is only going to look in the 1600 documents that match the uh, the single term capacity. So um, let me illustrate what that means. If I type in something like testamentary, now that's going to drop the uh, the number of hits right down from 1600 to 39. So clearly it's um, it's a fairly effective way of um, of sharpening the focus on a set of uh, search results let's also make the point that you can remove a term once you've added it if it turns out that uh, it's not helping so i'm going to clear testamentary by clicking on that little x and perhaps i could search for something else like um, fiduciary and again uh, that reduces the number of hits um, it's now down to 277 uh, so clearly adding additional terms to, um, to a search is, uh, is a great way of sharpening the focus of those search results. Just to make the point, incidentally, that you're not, of course, limited to just adding uh, one term. You can keep on adding additional terms until you get to a set of results that, um, that is giving you what you're looking for. So in this particular set, capacity and fiduciary, I can search for directors for example, and I can keep chipping away at, uh, at the number of search results until I get down to, um, to a manageable list. While I've got 
this narrowed um, result on screen. So now, just to recap where we've got to, we're looking at documents which contain these three terms, capacity, fiduciary and directors. I can also limit the, um, the set of search results to only those which appear in a particular book. Here's a list of all the titles which, uh, which match those, uh, those three terms. Let's, uh, let's choose one of those. Well, uh, why not the law of companies? And now we can see that there's a heading here, the principal fiduciary duties of directors. So I can go in and take a look at that title. How do I get back to the search results list now that I'm looking at a specific document? There are a number of ways you can do that. Uh, you can click the back to results button uh, up here, which uh, does what it says on the tin. You can choose the search you've just run from the My Searches drop down uh, there. Or the way that I tend to use um, most uh, is just to use the Browser Back button. So if I um, click on Browser Back, uh, it's going to take me uh, back to the last thing I was looking at. And by the same token, if I go Browser Forward, it's going to um, take me to the um, in, in that direction. So, But let's just hop back to that set of search results. OK, uh, finally, I mentioned that uh, the third way of um, filtering a set of search results is to filter on a specific content type. Um, let's just go back to our original search for the single word capacity. Um, I can either clear these three terms here or I can choose that search from the, the drop down. Let's just choose it from the drop down. And if, for example, I want to look at the legislation, that uh, refers to capacity. If I tick that box and then click Submit, I'm showing that there are in fact 536 places where, uh, where capacity is referenced. But again, um, I, can, uh, I can narrow that pretty effectively by looking at the list of books which contain those hits. And I can see that there's seven occurrences of the word capacity in Irish conveyancing statutes. So if I click that link, now I can uh, I can dive into that product and I can start reviewing just the hits which are coming from Irish Convincing statutes. Just to make the point that uh, if I click next document and previous document here, it's going to take me to the next page in the book, as it were, regardless of whether it contains a search hit. If I want to look at the next search hit, I click next and now I can start working through those hits which occur in uh, Irish conveyancing statutes. Let's um, drop back to one of our earlier searches. How about the search for uh, fiduciary capacity of directors that were coming from the law of companies? I just want to touch very briefly on some of the options that are given on the, uh, the bar here. Uh, the first one, pretty clearly enough, um, items per page. How many search hits do you want to look at at one time? Uh, you can increase that. So if you want to take it up to 50 search hits to include all, all of them from this uh, this result set, uh, that's the way you can do that. This drop down here is, um, is a very useful one. By default, the site will arrange the, the uh, results in relevance ranked order, much like Google, where what we're trying to do is show the document which is the closest match to, uh, to your search query. However, if you want to, um, you can show the, uh, the search hits in the order in which they occur in the original book. And you do that by clicking the drop down and choosing book order AZ. And we'll now see this list reorganize itself. And it's now showing us um, where those um, hits are coming from in the exact same order as they occur in the, uh, the published text. So the first reference to capacity happens to be in, uh, in this section on um, partners in, uh, in the legal forms of business organisation. OK, um, as you can imagine, there's uh, quite a lot more to the site. There are some, um, some useful features uh, tucked away that you may encounter. But as a quick start guide, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks very much indeed for watching.